Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you very much uh, to Incuna for welcoming uh, uh, this panel uh, of IPI. Uh, why uh, did we ask to, to present a panel? Uh, the first uh, is uh, because uh, we would like to show our uh, best uh, uh, support and uh, uh, consideration for the Incuna meeting. We believe that is uh, really a great opportunity for industrial heritage community uh, to share uh, research investigation practices. And so uh, thank you very much for welcoming this proposal, uh, especially this year after uh, the uh, very uh, uh, particular period we passed through because of the COVID. So, uh, the uh, IPI is uh, the Italian Association for Industrial Archaeology, Archaeological Heritage, is a partner of TIKI uh, for Italy. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to take advantage of uh, decades of experience and to draw the evidence of important changes in the approach to industrial heritage that emerge from several recent good practices. Uh, the themes more vital are at least the ones we discussed together in Padua in Venice two years ago in the Stati Generali. The panel has been thought as a case review, so I will be very fast in this uh, introduction in order to leave more time to our colleague. Uh, in each case, it is possible to highlight uh, some topic, some aspect of current tendency in conserving, securing and managing. This is the list. So, uh, this is the, the sequence of the um, uh, case study we're going to present. Uh, there are at least uh, uh, 30 years of experience of urban planning informed to the industrial heritage. IPI member experienced for the whole industrial district of uh, Nuova Schio, of the Arsenale di Venezia, of the Old Harbour of Trieste. Uh, these are industrial complexes of historical, economic, and productive relevance of international rank, which are associated with important values in the evolution of European society in the industrial sense. And so, uh, specific uh, um, contribution in this panel, we will uh, highlight the, the most recent uh, goals. Uh, among the many important future, a priority aim of enhancing the heritage as a cultural resource, and the role given to the landscape in defining the tool is strongly evident. Thanks to other more recent cases, some still in progress, it's possible to associate this principle some important guiding elements for the project. Many recent examples carried out by uh, some IPI members focus on the upsurge and improvement of the regional vocation of the sites, the mine to Rome, or the Archaeo-Industrial Museum of Maglie, which is going to be inaugurated next month, and uh, in uh, all a strong assonance with the declaration of Davis in the cultural centering of the project. Alongside this, the industrial sense of compensation to landscape for environmental use is preeminent. From another point of view, we can also see the adoption of more complex processes to reach quality solution or very simple tools to improve their uh, meaning. Uh, on one side, we have the elaboration on, on right of the complex management programs uh, participated and uh, ruled by the administration as in the mind of Rome or the proposal or innovative intervention for the construction of a network of the diffuse industrial heritage as the heritage in a box of Manuel Ramello for the parabolic arc of Morano. Finally, the highest dimension of the UNESCO sites is well represented by the report of Cristina Natoli. And tomorrow, during the Festival of Architecture of Ivrea, will take place uh, a, um, a panel on industrial archaeology uh, where the stakeholder of uh, industrial heritage will uh, discuss about uh, uh, the, um, the improvement in the site of Ivrea, of his role of uh, training, uh, diffusing uh, industrial culture, supporting uh, uh, the construction of networks. But 
In conclusion, before giving the speech to Gigi, to Giovanni Luigi Fontana, past president of IPI, we'd like to highlight the work, uh, presence and coordination uh, that the uh, TIKI and IPI had during and after COVID. For three months, we worked by remote to support each tools for continuation of activities of industrial site, association, society, place of historic production, social community. Industrial community really went on. Uh, we have three, uh, this work brought up to light three fields. On the first, that the resilience of industrial heritage community has been very high in continuing and implementing activity. The second, has been that industrial heritage has been involved in, the, in fighting COVID. The third is, is that uh, uh, industrial uh, heritage is shown as a buffer for community needs during a crisis. On the first side, so uh, IPI, record, IPI and the many society recorded and supported the experience of the resilience of PI community in continuing implementing activity, virtual exhibition, museum visit, remote workshop, webinar, the national uh, um, day of mining, uh, the master uh, uh, territorial patrimoine technique de industry uh, with the remote workshop uh, managed by IPI, and uh, the interactive webinar to uh, continue the debate. But what is most relevant is uh, what is being possible, is, is being possible to read in the actors. Um, we recorded a large number of uh, uh, support from the different uh, uh, actors of the industrial site uh, against COVID. On one side, the historic corporate, as Ramazzotti, Campari, Distillerie Poli, produced the uh, tools for personal safety. But most relevant on the other side, the uh, social industrial site, the place uh, of the immaterial values, worked in uh, uh, the uh, in supporting the local community. For example, the Sartoria Sociale of Kiri, the textile social factory of Kiri, moved the production of the cooperative to the protective mask for the first emergency in the area of Kiri. This has been an uh, interesting interaction of the uh, continuous of uh, the prosecution of uh, uh, local values, local ability, and the link to the community. The last, finally, the industrial heritage appears as a cultural social force that is at the center of the territories and generated the clusters and offered successfully as a buffer for emergency. It happened for the COVID-19 emergency at the, the Turin Officine Grandi Riparazioni. In the Officine Grandi Riparazioni, an, um, an um, emergency uh, site for uh, 100 uh, intensive care has been realized in a very fast time uh, to support the, the, the needs of the town, of, of the region. And uh, has it been uh, an example how industrial heritage could be thought as a flexible use is a lesson of the future. Many sites in Italy, which has a different risk in uh, hazard, could support the crisis management. And so uh, PI is confirmed again as a social source. Uh, I thank you so again very much for this opportunity to share and to have a um, uh, discussion about this topic, uh, and uh, I uh, give the speech uh, in the first uh, to Giovanni Luigi Fontana and Franco Mancuso uh, with the with the topic on uh, un plan exitoso, el manual para la rehabilitación del barrio Nuova Schio de Alessandro Rossi. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.